I learned how to defend myself from more aggressive spirits and how to interact safely with the rest. I learned how to control my dreams with full consciousness. There was so much I wanted to explore. I gather you didn't spend your entire life dreaming. No. Eventually, I was unable to find new areas in the Fade. Why? Two reasons. First, the Fade reflects the world around it. Unless I traveled, I would never find anything new. Second, the Fade reflects and is limited by our imagination. To find interesting areas, one must be interested. Is this why you joined the Inquisition? I joined the Inquisition because we were all in terrible danger. If our enemies destroy the world, I would have nowhere to lay my head while dreaming of the Fade. I wish you luck. Thank you. In truth, I have enjoyed experiencing more of life to find more of the Fade. How so? You strengthen your body to deliver and withstand punishments. The muscles are an enjoyable side benefit. You have chosen a path whose steps you do not dislike because it leads to a destination you enjoy. As have I. You said you'd traveled to many different places. This world, or its memory, is reflected in the Fade. Dream in ancient ruins, and you may see a city lost to history. Some of my fondest memories were found in crumbling cities, long picked dry by treasure seekers, the best of the battlefields. Spirits press so tightly on the veil that you can slip across with but a thought. Any place in particular? I dreamt at Ostagar. I witnessed the brutality of the Darkspawn and the valor of the Ferelden warriors. I saw Alistair and the hero Ferelden light the signal fire and Loghain's infamous betrayal of Caelan's forces. I've heard the stories. It would be interesting to hear what it was really like. That's just it. In the Fade, I see reflections created by spirits who react to the emotions of the warriors. One moment, I see heroic wardens lighting the fire and the power-mad villains sneering as he lets King Caelan fall. The next, I see an army overwhelmed and a veteran commander refusing to let more soldiers die in a lost cause. And you can't tell which is real. It is the Fade. They are all real. Have you always traveled and studied alone? Not at all. I have built many lasting friendships. Spirits of wisdom, possessed of ancient knowledge, happy to share what they had seen. Spirits of purpose helped me search. Even wisps, curious and playful, would point out treasures I might have missed. I don't know of any spirits by those names. They rarely seek this world. When they do, their natures do not often survive exposure to the people they encounter. Wisdom and purpose are too easily twisted to pride and desire. You're saying that you became friends with pride and desire demons? They were not demons for me. Meaning? The Fade reflects the minds of the living. If you expect a spirit of wisdom to be a pride demon, it will adapt. And if your mind is free of corrupting influences, if you understand the nature of the spirit, they can be fast friends. You trust these spirits not to possess you the first time you accidentally make a wish? Do you trust your friends not to turn on you? Well, yes, but they're people. Ah, of course. You know what I mean. Are people only people because they are flesh and blood? Is Cassandra defined by her cheekbones and not her faith? Varric by his chest hair and not his wit? I hadn't thought about it that way. But I see your point. I... Thank you. Few are willing to entertain such a notion. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald 
will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. I don't know. The Inquisition seems about as functional as any young family. How many families are on the verge of splitting into open warfare with themselves? Yes, because that would never happen to the Chantry. Centuries of tradition will guide us. We are not the upstart eager to turn over every apple cart. Remind me why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay? Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. How widespread is the violence between mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between Mages and Templars is renewed with interest. The Mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? Exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve. Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. I'll make sure they see reason in Val Royo. I pray you're right. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. We can get that for you right away, sir. But I thought an army formed of weapons bore in beacons. Did you need something? Anything I should know? I've nothing to report at the moment. Let's talk about you. Me? Bards tell tales. I bet you tell some good ones. There are plenty of tales in the library. Perhaps you should look for them there. What did you do before you worked for the Divine? I was a bard, a Norwegian spy, for many years. For a time, I also served a small cloister in Lothering. After the Blight, the Divine called on me to oversee her personal network. Can you teach me to be a bard? Being a bard is so much more than being a spy. It involves a keen understanding of politics, the ebb and flow of influence, the great game. The Bards is an intricate dance where a smile can be sharper than any dagger. The best way to learn is to immerse yourself in it. Perhaps when this is all over, I'll teach you. I should leave you to your work. We can always talk later. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? I'm doing everything within my power. A task such as closing the breach is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. We remember Andraste, but Andraste did not carry the Chant of Light alone. She had generals, advisors, even her husband for a time. Do everything within your power, but remember those who would help you. I appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path, and there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition...
proves less brutal than its predecessor. Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next Divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? How are the villagers in Haven doing? They are terrified. Many of them came here because the war between the Mages and the Templars destroyed their homes. In their minds, the death of a Divine has destroyed any chance of peace. To that, add the breach. Farmers have fled their fields. If we do not restore order, half of Thedas may starve. What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured, as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the chance of light. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empris de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. Farewell. Until next time. Sigrid says it will cost at least ten. Fine. Not sure why you would want to pay out of your own pocket for books, Enchanter. I'm not an Enchanter, and too many books get lost. Knowledge gets lost forever. Fire will... What may I do for you? What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Sir Griffith of Denerim, a most distinguished knight of the realm. He's defeated dark spawns, slain demons, chased down abominations. Just don't ask him about it over dinner. He spares no detail. What may I do for you? Let's speak later. Goodbye.